this problem, I'm multiplying in base 5. And in base 5, uh, you have to remember there's no, no digits bigger than 4. So when I get larger products, I need to write them in base 5. And just like normal multiplication, we're going to start with this digit here and multiply it by the three digits up top. Now right away we have three times four is 12, but that's base 10. And I have to write this in base five. So how many fives are in 12? There's two fives in 12, and then two left over, two ones left over. So the two fives are gonna be 10 and two left over. So four times three is two, carry the two. Now when I multiply here, three times zero is zero. So three times zero is zero, but then I have to add two more in. So I get two. Three times one is three. That's a totally valid number in base five. So there we go. Next up, we're gonna do the same thing with the four. So four times four is 16. 16 has several fives, 16 has three fives in it. So there's three fives and one left over. Three fives is 15 and one left over is 16. So four times four is uh, 31. So it's one, carry the three. Four times zero is zero, uh, but the carried three is adding three to it. And I absolutely forgot to slide my digits over. So that's a blank, uh, totally forgot here. So one, three, there we go. And I carried three, so I can leave that there. Uh, four times one is four. Don't need to carry anything there. Uh, now, two plus zero is two, two plus one is three. Three plus three is six, but remember you can't write a six in base five, it's too big. Uh, so six is one five and one left over. So three plus three is one, carry the one. One and four is five, but remember at base five, there's no five. So five is written as one zero. So we get a one zero. So 101.32 should be what we see here.